Well, hello, and welcome to the Nerd Amazing channel. Thanks for stopping by. My name is Adam, and here at Nerd Amazing, I showcase fun and exciting products that I truly believe are Nerd Amazing. So let's talk Gargoyles Goliath Ultimate Action Figure from NECA. Nerd Amazing. Imagine this, it's 1994 and you just got home from school and you flip that TV on to watch all those after school cartoon shows to relax from a hard day of learning. Then you hear that epic music and Goliath's deep voice coming on the air saying, 1,000 years ago, superstition and the sword ruled. It was a time of darkness. It was a world of fear. It was the age of gargoyles. At that point, you were just glued to the TV to watch Goliath, Brooklyn, Lexington, and the rest of the Manhattan gargoyle clans epic adventures. Getting my hand on this ultimate action figure from NECA of Goliath just really takes me back. I actually scored this for just under $30 from one of my local collectible retailers. Just look at this nerd amazing artwork on the front cover. I can just feel that Goliath has just awakened at night, bursting from his stony hide that forms in the day and is now overlooking the city of New York to be its defender in the night and to take down evildoers. What I really like about this is that the front opens up, which is secured by Velcro. And here, showing an epic full body pose of Goliath on one side, and on the adjacent side, you can see the action figure behind the clear plastic window display with all of its available parts. Here, you see a great menacing pose of Goliath waiting in the darkness, waiting to strike at those who do harm. The back of the box showcases more poses you can achieve with him, and utilizing different accessories that come with him. You also get a brief description on the gargoyles themselves. On the other side of the box, you have Goliath in battle mode, ready for action with his eyes gleaming white to take on any threats to him and his friends. On the top of the box, you have the gargoyles logo and the character name. Yet the thing I like most about this is that NECA gives credit to all the artists involved in creating and bringing to life this nerd amazing action figure. Now, before I start the unboxing, I'd like to say thank you for watching this Nerd Amazing episode. And if you want to continue seeing more Nerd Amazing videos, please subscribe to this channel as it helps support creating future videos and alerts you when new episodes are posted. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to smash that like button. And don't forget to check out all the other Nerd Amazing product review episodes. All right, so let's unbox Goliath. Well, all right, the exciting part. Let's get ready to unbox this Goliath Gargoyles ultimate action figure. So we'll take that one from the top, just turn to the side, open him up a little bit. Sorry if the desk is a little shaky. He's got a nice uh, clamshell pack. This guy is pretty big. All right, there we go. Just set that box off to the side real quick. All right, it comes in a, move that over, comes in a two part. Very nice, got the main Goliath figure right here in his wings. We'll take those out real quick. Easy pop out. And pop out the other one. Set that clamshell off to the side. Got both the left and the right wing. And then here we got some of Goliath's accessories. That being three different hands, two closed fists. As you can see, I'll put, bring that up real quick. I'll set that aside and he's got an open hand like this meant for clutching and we'll see what that is in a second which I believe he's going to be clutching the Grimora as you can see right here it's got some gibberish text in there but I love the back side if you can see that that leather bound look really worn the cracking and everything like that Ooh, it looks really good Set that down, and there is a jalapeno in there. Let me see if I can get that out real quick. Ooh, pop that out, whoa. It's tiny and small, but oh, very nice. Very good looking. Set that down. Got the Goliath head, his uh, battle face, ready to take on evildoers. As you can see, got the glowing eyes, the, the mouth that's just like, grrr, <laughs> it's kind of awesome. And the nice hair as well. Let's set that down right here. Pop that out later. And here's his tail. Backside being the one with the holes. And this is the, the top of the tail. And it is bendable, as you can see. Let me plug that in. 
All right. Now for the main figure. Let me see if I can get him out pretty easily. It's nice and snug in there. Get that hand out, or arm out, I should say. Ooh, that wasn't too bad. Very well packed. Let me just set that down. And again, here's the Goliath figure. Love the shading, love the paintwork, love the loincloth with a big buckle. Oh, it's pretty epic, pretty gorgeous. Here's the back side. Really nice. Eh, little stiffness on the articulation, but I'm sure that'll work out. Arms go up and down, hand up, and the arms, or I guess just to say the hands. In and out, that's pretty smooth. Put that down. Joints and the legs, not too bad, not too bad. The feet, Ooh, and some like a little bit of a articulation in the feet, if you can see that. So, and the head, just some minor up and down motion. No real twisting too much. Legs, pretty well. Oh, yeah, make a lie, do the splits if you want to. Great, great, great articulation in the legs, it looks like. And again, the arms are pretty decent. This is as far as I can go with that. All right, let's uh, assemble him real quick. Get the tail in. Let me do this right. Mm hmm. Gonna work it in there a little bit, but not too bad, not too bad. And let's put the wings on. So you can see it kind of goes, left out the flap here of his hair. Wings are, ooh, let me show you this real quick. They're not bendable, but man, they got that great leathery texture. You can actually, if you can like see the veins and just all the segmented leather. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's really gorgeous. So this will be the left side. So we'll put that in real quick. Nice, snaps in pretty well. Ooh, makes a little popping noise. I guess you got like two modes of articulation right there. Get this in. All right. Ooh, nope. There we go. So, pop him down. And now we got Goliath. So, you know, you can kind of twist the, the wings a little bit to position them in how you like it. Oops. Well, that is how we're reviewing it. I probably didn't get that in right fully. Try it one more time. There we go, I felt it pop in there a little bit better. So, yeah, no, correction. When it's fully in there, it doesn't move. So it just goes back and forth. So you're probably gonna keep it that epic style. All right, let's get some cool shots of this and put it on the spinner. We could take a, do some poses and whatnot. I have to admit, it's so much fun swapping out the faces and the hands while showcasing Goliath and all those different poses. Again, the articulation is fair overall on the body. The tail is quite bendable and most likely will have to be utilized in order to help keep a stable pose. The wings on the back do not bend and have limited articulation. Really just one good pose placement, yet are extremely detailed with a leather pattern on the wings. The thing about the wings is they make the figure a little top heavy and make it a little bit difficult to achieve certain upright poses without the figure falling over. I had to cheat some and put a little sticky putty on the bottom of his feet to hold certain poses. The figure is roughly 8 inches tall and the wingspan is massive with them extending 22 inches out. Now, what is the deal with that jalapeno and why did NECA include this? On episode 19, that is in season 2 titled Protection, Broadway offers Goliath a jalapeno which he eats in whole. Within seconds, Goliath has a look of exasperation on his face due to the spicy heat in his mouth and screams out jalapeno. Actually, jalapeno. From there, jalapeno became a sort of substitute curse words that was used by all the gargoyles in later episodes. Well, thanks for watching this episode of Nerd Amazing, And for all my Nerd Amazing friends out there, again, I say to you, be passionate in what you do, share your passion with others, and be kind to one another as this world can always use more goodness in it. This is Adam with Nerd Amazing, and I'll see you next time. Bye.